It's surreal in Lincoln City with no power in the whole town. All right, what's your name, man? My name's Nicholas, and uh, I was standing outside with my uncle on my property, and we could hear houses falling. We could hear shit exploding up in the in the woods. And it's just crazy. They're evacuating people out of here, and it, like I just heard something explode just now, and it's crazy out here. So what are you gonna do now? Uh, we're just gonna sit here until either they tell us to go back home or to go somewhere else. Cause I heard they're uh, they're telling Lincoln City to make some room in the shelters for uh, people that are getting evacuated. Oh yeah, because he was way up, so it was behind the tree over here earlier. So it's coming actually down the hill. Really? These pictures that I took, that I showed you, are actually back behind this big tree. Justin Warner coming to you live. This is Safeway. You really probably can't see anything because there's just, it's dark. It's dark everywhere. We went up to Yodel and Pony Road where there was just a bunch of law enforcement, fire trucks, fighting a fire that has happened. Transformers blue, I was looking for it. Well, I seen my neighbor turn on his generator and I seen his light come on, so I decided to go outside. Well, up on the hill behind my house, I saw some light up there and I was like, there's no, there's no light up there. So I walked a little bit closer and I started to smell the smoke. And then I seen it flickering. And the little transformer between my house and my neighbor's house is the one that popped and it caught all that underbrush and stuff under it on fire. It started off pretty small. I, I drove up Maple to wake the neighbors up and you know get them out of there. Uh, we tried fighting with water and stuff. It took the fire department like an hour to finally make it out there because of the fire on Echo and stuff like that. You know, they had their hands full. So this was separate from the Echo This is Yeah, this is separate. Yeah, this started just right behind my house up there. Um, as far as I know, it burned up everything back there. Um, I know that at least seven or eight people lost their homes, including my own. Um, and uh, yeah, and so now I'm, you know, here at the U.S. market hanging out with Gary and let me stay here while I'm trying to get stuff figured out. Uh, but yeah, no, it took them like an hour. I just watched everything go up within that hour time. Like it started off real small. And by the time the fire department, I even saw lights or heard any sirens, the whole hillside was on fire. So, you know, I ran around, woke people up and tried to get them out of there. So you lost your house. Yeah. Okay. All your stuff. In it. Yep. I got the animals and my cat out, but you know, all that other stuff I can replace, you know, I, Got insurance on the place and stuff like that so you know i mean i'll be all right in the end but as of right now you know gary's letting me stay here and you know get myself situated while all this stuff is getting figured out but yeah i know as far as i know i'm not the only one you know, a lot of us on maple lost our places so how many houses do you think and as far as i know at least seven or eight but i'm sure it's more if they're with how bad the fire they're saying it is i'm sure it's more than that um i know i know quite a few of the locals lost their place and it was pretty devastating to watch and to hear. 